Today I'm going to show you how to use the end of day historical data API Excel add-in. There's no complicated code and you can easily get your fundamental data and end of day historical data into Excel so you can do your analysis. So from the home page, if you direct yourself to documentation and then scroll down to the most popular financial APIs. Here you will see a link through to Excel financial add-in click on that link. So this tutorial gives you a brief overview of how to use the Excel financial add-in. Now you'll see here that the, one of the first links in the paragraph says download our Excel add-in here. So let's download that and open the executable file, run through the installation wizard for end of day add-in, and now we can open Excel. Now within Excel, you'll be able to see a tab called end of day. If you don't, you just need to go to the developer tool Check your COM add-ins and look for EOD add-in and select it. Now, if we go to the end of day, we can see three options here. We've got the get historical data, the get intraday historical data, and then the get fundamental data. Let's first start with the get historical data. Here, I can find tickers that I'm interested in. For example, let's say Commonwealth Bank of Australia. I can click on the ticker that I'm interested in and look for daily data or define my period that I'm interested in getting the historical data for, defining time date ranges. So maybe I want to get it from 2010, January the 1st, all the way to today. And I want to plot a chart. It's as simple as defining my date ranges and clicking load. Now I've got a start and end range here that I can actually change. So I've got data all the way back from 2010. So if I change this start date, my graph will automatically update so I can see the price series. And of course you can use all this data for your own historical analysis. Now I'm ready to get my intraday data. So let's say that I want to look at CBA and I wanna look at CBA from let's say the start of January 2020 all the way through to today. I'm going to define the time bars that I want to receive. I've got choices from one minute, five minutes, and one hour. I'm going to choose five minutes. Now I want a chart, so let's just click load. So you can see how simple that was. Now one thing to note here with the intraday time, we use a UTC Unix code, so a timestamp, and that also corresponds to the date time here. And again, we've got our open, high, low, close, and volume transacted. So very useful. Now to get the fundamental data into Excel using the end of day historical add-in, you're going to want to assign a new spreadsheet. So just come down to the bottom and click a new spreadsheet. So let's click get fundamental data. So here you can see that we have a number of choices for the financial data that we can get. Here we can get the general or highlights of the business as a, as a whole, or we can get the three financial statements, the balance sheet, the income statement, and the cash flow statement. We also have another tab here called the earnings. So I'm going to click all data, and I'm going to define my ticker as Apple. Here you can see that I get all the data at once in an easy expandable format. So including my general, my highlights, my balance sheet information, which of course you can transpose into whatever format you'd like. So as you can see, I have data going all the way through to today, all the way back to 1985. And I have that for my income statement and my cash flow statement as well. So hopefully you can see how easy it is to actually get key fundamental data for your business into Excel using this add-in. We're also able to get end of day data extremely easily as well as intraday data at five minute, one minute and one hour time candles. 